After a dramatic 67-66 win over the Creighton Blue Jays, senior night hopes looked high for Stefan Manga, Brandon Mobley, and Harold Carlos. Unfortunately, their eight-point halftime lead over the Providence Flyers slipped away. After the game, I caught up with Harold Carlos, Brandon Mobley, and Sterling Gibbs. I'm here with senior Brandon Mobley. Brandon led the team with 13 points. How how would you feel today going into the game? I felt, um, I felt great, you know, to come out here and play the last time. You know, I know it was going to be some emotional, but at the end of the day, it was all about just playing the game and winning. Sterling, your first game back since your two-game suspension must have felt great to be back on the court. Yeah, yeah, it felt really good. Um, I think with everything that's been been going on, I, it really felt good to get out get back on the court and be able to help my team a little bit. Harold's tough loss to Providence. You go into halftime up eight points, but then Providence opens up on a 9-0 run. What, what was the feeling of the team when they opened up on that run? I mean, they switched their defense to the zone, and uh, we just didn't respond very well. And, uh, and they made their run, and we couldn't stop it. Mm. They ran a lot of zone. You know, uh, in the first half, they ran a lot of man. We was able to get what we want. But in the second half, you know, they're, so, they're, they're so long, they just used their length and just and just stand on one spot and play area, so it's hard for our guards to penetrate and get in there like we did in the second half. So that was uh, smart coaching on um, their part. But at the end of the day, uh, if we can just knock down shots and take teams out of his zone, we would do that. But we wasn't able to knock down shots that consistently, so they just stayed in his zone. Now going forward, what is, your, what is the team's and your mentality against Georgetown and then you have the Big East tournament? What do you guys need to do to really make a run? I think we really just need to defend. Um, we need to go back to earlier in the season how we really – um, we're able to get stops and really able to get out on a break and get some easy buckets. And I think once we end up doing that, I think we'll be able to get some wins. Uh, we just have to regroup right now. Maybe we can take away this Georgetown with the W. And uh, then uh, any team can beat any, anyone in Big East tournament, I got a feeling. And, uh, and we have to be ready for it, and uh, we will. Just focus on Georgetown right now, you know, to try to... Uh, by any means, we try to just gain some momentum for that game heading into the tournament. That's that's pretty much all it comes down to. This was a huge night for you, senior night. You know, you've been a four-year four-year player. You and Mobley, out of a huge incoming freshman class, your freshman year, you were the only two left. How how does that feel? Like, what what were your emotions tonight? Yeah, we're the lone survivors. Uh, I mean, it was it was it was hard. It was hard uh, emotionally, and because we. We put all our heart and soul in, in, uh, in this game, especially in this building. Man, that's been awesome, man. I remember Coach Willard came down to my house. You know, I met with my mom, and he told him that, you know, through it all, he was going to make sure I got it in the classroom first and anything I needed off the court, you know. So, you know, I was always been my home away from home. So, not once that I consider leaving here. I couldn't. Oh, they, they've had a big influence on me. Um, it just showed me how to work hard. They're like big brothers to me, and um, they go in there and practice, and and work hard every single day. They come in um, even when we don't have practice and you, you see in the games that they, they really want to win. So um, that's just really um, translated to my game and translated to everyone else's game and I think it's helped us a lot. Crowd's been great through all, through all four years and uh, I, w I just want to say thank you to them and, uh, and they've been great to us. Oh, well, Mr. Carter, just thank you, you know, from supporting us from from the Herb Pope era, you know, to the Brandon Mobley era now, you know. Um, like I said, we had a lot of great wins in this building, a lot of tough losses in this building. But at the end of the day, the fans stayed true, and that's, and that's, all, and that's all we can ask for, you know. So there you have it, the Providence Fires 79, the Seton Hall Pirates 66. The, with the big question on everyone's mind is, can the Pirates win against Georgetown this Saturday and really make a run deep into the Big East tournament at Madison Square Garden? For Hall Talk, I'm Johnny Canetta.